Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at the latest movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Doctor Strange, directed by Scott Derrickson and starring Benedict Cumberbatch, Chiwetel Ejiofor, and Tilda Swinton. Cumberbatch plays Dr. Stephen Strange, a brilliant neurosurgeon who has clearly let his brilliance go to his head as he is also an arrogant jackass. But his world all comes crashing down the day he is in a nasty car accident, and he survives, but his hands are very badly messed up, and he is unable to perform surgery anymore. And he goes through various treatments to try to get his hands back to full strength, but the nerve damage is just way too severe and nothing is working. But then one day, Strange meets a paraplegic who has somehow regained the ability to walk, and he directs Strange to a place called Kamartaj, which is somewhere in Kathmandu. Strange spends what little money he has left to get to Kamartaj, where he meets a group of sorcerers led by the Ancient One, and they teach him the ways of the mystical arts. And over time, Strange learns there is still much he can do with his life, even if he no longer has full use of his hands. But then the bad guys show up and it all goes to shit. It is a comic book movie after all, and that's kind of what happens in these movies. So this was a lot of fun. I would even go so far as to say this is one of Marvel's best so far. I would put it right up there with Iron Man and Captain America. It's very well acted. Um, I like Cumberbatch in most things that he's in, and this was really no exception. Even if his American accent is a little weird, it just, it seems so wrong to hear him speak with that accent. And it's not the first time he's done it. He did it in 12 Years a Slave, but it still sounds weird. As I said, Cumberbatch plays Dr. Stephen Strange, who is very egotistical and self-absorbed both before and after his car accident. But over time, he does gradually learn to put aside his ego and do something for the greater good. And yes, it is very silly that his name is actually Dr. Strange, but what can you do? I thought Chiwetel Ejiofor was pretty badass as Strange's fellow sorcerer Mordo. Rachel McAdams has a small part as Christine Palmer, who is... Basically, the only friend that Strange really has in this movie, and she is also the only one who is really not afraid to put him in his place. Until he gets to Camartage, of course. Benedict Wong plays a guy named Wong, appropriately enough. And he's basically the deadpan comic relief for this movie, and it's a role that he does so well. And the exchanges that he has with Cumberbatch in this movie are just hilarious. Strange is constantly being his stubborn, sarcastic self, and Wong is just having none of it. Mads Mikkelsen plays the villain, and really, when your name is Mads Mikkelsen, you kind of have to play the villain, don't you? But it's a role he plays so well. He plays Cassilius, who is a former sorcerer of Camartage that has gone rogue, and like any good villain, he does not see himself as the villain, but actually as the hero. It's everyone else that's got it wrong. And finally, we have Tilda Swinton as the Ancient One. And as I'm sure you may have heard, there's been a bit of controversy surrounding this character because it's yet another example of Hollywood whitewashing. How is this still a thing? And Scott Derrickson, the director, said he debated casting an Asian in this role, as it was in the comics, but he was afraid that if he did, it was going to be playing to an Asian stereotype, which is not what he wanted to do, so he felt that doing the whitewashing instead of the Asian stereotype was the lesser of two evils. And he does still admit that even if it is a lesser of two evils, it is still an evil, and he is happy that people are mad about it, because if you don't get mad, it's never going to change. Personally, I'm not entirely convinced that the role could not have been played by an Asian actor and still been respectful, but I do get where he's coming from, and I do have a lot of respect for him for handling the controversy the way he did. Now, all that being said, Tilda Swinton is awesome as the Ancient One. I really like this character, and her performance was outstanding. She's a powerful sorcerer and a very strong leader, and does not put up with Strange's shit. But she does also have a sense of kindness and patience to her, and... They don't ever say exactly how old she is, at least I don't think they did, but they do imply that she's been around for a very long time, possibly hundreds of years. And when you get to be that old, I suppose you kind of have to learn patience. Now, as far as the visuals, 
holy shit, this was just amazing. And as you would expect, a movie that revolves so heavily around magic is gonna be pretty effects heavy, and they really knocked it out of the park. Especially in 3D, it all looks fantastic. From the simplest things like conjuring up a magical portal or a weapon, to literally bending the world around them like something out of Inception. There is a big action sequence in the latter half of the movie where they basically turn New York City into an MC Escher drawing, and it looks fantastic. The action sequences are all very well done, they're well choreographed, lots of cool magical effects, and a lot of fun to watch. But what I found interesting, and this is unusual for a Marvel movie, and indeed for any comic book movie really, it doesn't end with an action sequence. Strange does not defeat the big bad by fighting him or, you know, throwing a bunch of spells at him but rather he beats him by outsmarting him. A comic book movie that doesn't end with a huge battle? How can this be? And yet it works, it really does. It is one of the more brilliant scenes I have ever seen in any Marvel movie. If you have not seen this movie, you need to. It is so good, you will not regret it. See it at any price, see it in 3D, see it in IMAX, go nuts. And because it's a Marvel movie, do not leave until after the credits. There is a mid credit scene and there is a post credit scene. It's amazing, I still see people get up to leave when the credits start playing during a Marvel movie. Like, how have you people not figured this out? Well, that about wraps it up for Doctor Strange. So until next time, take care.